Well, every week we go off the deep end with Hummingbird, and we're here at the CCA workbench, and Dr. Guy Harvey is here. Now, Guy, I know that shark research is something that's very dear to your heart. We've talked about Makos on this show, and we've talked about the tiger sharks, but this week, the Oceanic White Tip. Tell me a little bit about that. A really shark. unusual shark, Rick. Uh, we encounter them worldwide. They're in warm tropical waters around the world. They used to be the most prolific large animal on the planet until industrial commercial long lining came along and took them all out. So let me ask you, it has the nickname of the sh shipwreck shark. That's true. Uh, Why is that? During the Second World War, especially in the Western Pacific, there was a lot of surface action going on, a lot of people floating in the ocean, and these sharks have this inherent inquisitive nature about them where they check out anything floating. So if you're a human being floating in the open ocean and an oceanic white tip comes up to you, you're not in very good shape. So is this shark pr a pretty curious shark? They're very curious sharks, and this is why they're so cool to dive with. So let's take a look at the video. We'll start rolling it. Tell me a little bit about it. So <clears throat> this footage is taken off Cayman, and some in the Bahamas too. We set up uh, chum crates, we jump in the water, the sharks come along, and because they're so inquisitive, they come right up to you. So you're getting all these wonderful photographic images. And once you're joined by two or three of them, you really do have to pay attention. But of course, this also gives us an opportunity to catch the sharks and put uh, electronic tags on them to track where they go. Like most oceanic fish, billfish, tunas and sharks, they cover great distances in a very short space of time and we know very little about them. Here, Dr. Mahmoud Shivji of the GHRI is attaching a spot tag, about a $2,000 instrument onto an oceanic white tip and the shark will be released in a few seconds and we'll be able to track the movements of that shark in real time. And so you can go to Guy Harvey or GHRITracking.org right now and track any of the species that we currently work with. That's tigers, makos, blue sharks, and oceanic white tips. Now through the tagging program, Guy, that you guys have established with these guys, what have you learned? I know that it hasn't been in effect for very long, but are they in all the oceans? These are long-term projects. Yes, they are in all the oceans. These are long-term projects. And as we learn more about them, we're trying to establish patterns in migration, movements, and so on, so that you can better manage the fisheries. Because the fisheries, indiscriminate fishing for them by long lining, is really reducing the populations of not only sharks, but billfish as well. So while time is short, we need to learn more about them as much as we can. The makos are really interesting. We need more data on them. We need more data on oceanic white tips. And it's a matter of funding too. These tags are very expensive. And so when everything comes together and we get about 60 to 100 sharks tagged, the oceanic white tips, we'll be able to determine if there's Atlantic populations and Caribbean populations, whether they mingle or not. And we'll learn a lot more about management and of course their protection. Well, I gotta tell you, we're lucky to have what you do for research. I can't tell you how much of a fan I am of the things that you're doing, and I got to tell you on behalf of everybody here, as well as everybody watching, I want to thank you for all that. My pleasure. Our pleasure.